Hello and welcome to, or welcome back to the last episode of season one of Live, Laugh, Lily Kincaid. I'm Lily Kincaid, your host. It's nice to, nice to see you again. Nice to be back. I decided to like cap it at an even number for season one because I want to just, you know, I'm going to take a little break. I'm working on a little special something for y'all to commemorate this past season one of Live, Laugh, Lily Kincaid. We've talked about so many things. I started this podcast at the beginning of October, I believe. Um, And 30 episodes is pretty insane, pretty insane. And I feel like we focused a lot on like inner growth, which was super fun and, you know, definitely heavy, but in the best way, you know. But for the last episode, um, I thought it would be a good episode. Not the last episode ever. Not the last episode ever. The last episode of season one. Because probably in a month or two, I'm going to be back with season two. So that'll be fun. Like, I want to shoot new cover art and stuff. Um, This is just like my little passion project corner of the internet where I like to rant. So thanks for being here with me. Also, I'm wearing my headphones if you're watching the video when I'm and I'm recording. But I have to show you guys these earrings. These are these the coolest like 60s earrings ever. And I'm just obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with them. I'm also wearing my Kincaid necklace <laughs> because why not? Why not? And I have this really cool vintage 70s dress that I got in Arizona. And it has like water lilies on it. So it's made, it's made for me. It's truly made for me. Anyways, today today's episode is titled The Butterfly Effect, which we're going to be talking about how, you know, everything in life is leading you where you are. And when once you realize that and whenever you remind yourself of that, it really does take away the stress in a crazy way. Anyways, okay. So how we start off every episode is with a little quote. And I have it here written down in my journal because y'all know I love journaling anyways okay the definition of the butterfly effect I wrote it down because I was like this is crucial it is the phenomenon whereby a minute localized change in a complex system can have large effects elsewhere and the quote I picked out for today's episode episode number 30 by the way is every single thing you do matters you have been created as one of a kind you have been created in order to make a difference you have within you the power to change the world. And that is by Andy Andrews. I'm going to say that one more time for you because I think that's really important to hear. And if no one, nobody has told you it recently, like, please listen up. Like, I'm saying this to you. I'm not just saying this out. Like, this, every single person, me, you, your friend watching, every single person, we are all so unique. And you guys, that's our superpower. There's nobody else in the world who has our stories. Like, period. Period. Okay, ready? One more time. Every single thing you do matters. You have been created as one of a kind. You have been created in order to make a difference. You have within you the power to change the world. You matter. You being just you. Like you, it's crazy because the butterfly effect is something that I think oftentimes during good moments of my life, I'll butterfly effect in the sense of like, oh my God, if I didn't do this, then I would have met this person and then I wouldn't have met you and I wouldn't have done this. Like, And I think every single thing in your life you can do that with, which is kind of cool. Like you can only really see how everything is working together in like when you're looking back in retrospect you can never see it in the moment and like I don't know knowing that kind of like gives me peace because sometimes I'm like what is happening like how is this working for me this is like a total mess this thing I really wanted didn't pull through what's going on like but I know in a year from now I'm gonna be like oh my god that like of course that had to happen because then this wouldn't have happened and I wouldn't have met these people like everything truly is all working and I think that's like one side of the butterfly effect and then the other side is kind of like how you know nothing is ever too small like the definition of it a butterfly flaps its wings and it causes like i think the like saying is like a butterfly flaps its wings and it causes like a um hurricane millions of miles away which is just like crazy to think about but understanding that how like a small little thing you could you do can change somebody's life and then therefore change other people like you saying hello to somebody on the street that stranger could like give them the confidence to like write a book or do something that's gonna like change millions of lives all over the world like how crazy is that and it it just connects all connects us all together so that's why I kind of wanted to just rant about that because I don't know life can be lonely and especially I know a lot of you guys are going through changes myself included too but specifically those of you guys who are in school it's about to be graduation season or even even if you're not graduating you know you're about to be on the summer break and it can be weird you're like I suddenly have all this free time you don't know what to do or if you are graduating um you know, you're going into post-grad, which can be very, like, weird. You suddenly are, like, out of the routine you've been in for the past four-plus years. And it can be weird. And sometimes it can be hard when you're thrown off routine and thrown off schedule 
to feel like you're making a difference and to feel like you are serving a purpose and serving others but I want you to know that you are even in the smallest ways you are and we're all connected so like you're never truly alone and even if you don't feel like you're a part of something right now you are a part of something you're a part of humanity and you're a part of life and I don't know I think we all just need to realize that like yes there's so much differences yes people are divided over everything but at the end of the day like we are all humans trying to keep the entirety of human species alive you know um I took some notes because I just kind of want to talk about gratitude too um like with the butterfly effect I find myself being so grateful for all of the no's in my life like I don't know if you guys have ever like sat down and thought about this but I want you to do this like think about all the times you were rejected or like all the times something you wanted didn't work out you didn't get into that school you didn't get that job you wanted like everything that you didn't want how like devastated you were in the moment but like think about like what your life would be like if you had received that I like never think about like what I, I I usually never think about that but I've been like thinking about that recently and I become so grateful for it and I even say it out loud like I'm so grateful that this person rejected me I'm so grateful I didn't get that job I wanted I'm so grateful and like just even like physically telling myself I'm so grateful for all of those things has just made me like 10 times more grateful for what I have and I'm already grateful for what I have but like I don't know there's just something about it um it really is and like I just wanted to mind to remind you guys today that like you know every little thing you do nothing is ever too small and like that's the thing it's like nothing is ever too small you don't know how it's gonna impact the rest of the world and I don't know it can it can just be hard it can be hard like I don't know I'm just you know being in my 20s being in my 20s growing up in the age of the internet I truly don't know what I'm doing and I'm, I'm I'm gonna take a good guess that you don't either but guess what at least we don't know what we're doing together at least we don't know what we're doing together because we can grow and I don't know I mean I wrote some things that I wanted to talk about like I wanted to say how like I mean these are mainly reminders I was telling myself but I was like if I need to hear this there's probably somebody else who needs to hear this and it, it was me talking about how you know just you living your life is in- impacting people you don't have to be doing crazy things I think the best way to create change is to live the way you want other people to live like to be let let how you live your life be the reason why people want to live their life that way instead of trying to change people because like something I've learned is like you can't change people's minds you can't change people's minds and like just lead by example lead by example in your life you guys like to close off this season of live off the licking Kate isn't it so weird that you can just like start a podcast like you guys some of one of you guys one of you listeners should start a podcast and please send it to me because I will be listening to every episode um if you need help I can help you I'm here to help you I want you to get your message out in the world I want you to to spread your light But what I was going to say is um, I think that we all need to be leading by example. Instead of talking, instead of talking our talk, let's lead by example. Like, think about this for a second. What good would it be if I were to come on here and be like, preach all this stuff about how like you can go after your goals if I was literally just like laying on the couch all day? If I was lazy, if I wasn't doing anything, if I was preaching about like self-care and like taking care of your hair and skin and working out but I was like not doing any of that and my hair was ratty and I had pimples all over my face still you know what I mean like that wouldn't live your life by like leading by example I found is the best way and I just want to encourage that because sometimes it feels like then you're not doing enough like oh my god well like I'm not really doing anything I'm not telling people this I'm not doing that but it's like the butterfly effect people see that and inspires them to be better it inspires them to wake up earlier who knows what they're going to do who knows what how many lives are going to save who knows what you know that extra time they're going to create something they're going to they're going to write a, a book they're going to write a song that's going to heal millions of people all over the world you know like you're always you're not nothing is ever like i think the best way is to just is to just focus on yourself and to and to be the best person like i feel like our not i mean i'm gen z but i'm on the tail i'm on the older side of gen z oh my god it's so weird to say that isn't that weird like what's the new generation isn't it like um 2000 seven seven maybe i don't know what the new one is it's gen alpha i believe but i don't know what um year like the birthday starts but that's so weird to think about because gen gen z i think we're called the zoom zoomers i could be like not using that term right i think we're called gen z but like this like how it was like the boomers we're like the zoomers (laughs) maybe because we were like zooming on our like i don't know (laughs) electric bicycles like the bird scooters and stuff (laughs) those things scare me I only went on I've only been on them like a couple times with this guy I was dating years ago um and that terrified me 
yeah never again i would rather walk like i will walk 10 miles i do those things scare me anyways that's the story for another day um but what i was saying is gen z gen zoomers i think it's 1997 to 2000 something but i'm like in the older ish side so it's very interesting to see because i feel like a lot of us not a lot of us because i i don't include myself in this but i feel like people have lost integrity people have lost integrity like and i think part of that is like people have lost integrity because lack of integrity is rewarded with instant gratification via social media um but i don't think people realize like it's not the kind of gratification you want and it's not the kind of attention that you that is valuable if that makes sense like i think that having integrity and remaining close to your core values versus like selling out is like the attention that you're going to get from that yeah maybe way less but it's going to be valuable to you and it's not going to be fleeting. You're not going to spend your life chasing after something. And what you're going to be doing and how you're living your life is actually going to make a real difference. Does that make sense? I don't know. These are just these are just some of my thoughts. These are just some of my thoughts. Like, I don't know. I've just been noticing this a lot more. I've been noticing people's characters are getting like, even how you see people stealing from Sephora and stealing from these places. It's like, doesn't it? Don't you, aren't, don't you, don't you stay up at night? Don't you stay up at night? Like how, I don't know how people are feeling comfortable with doing these things. Like, because here's the thing, they're like, oh, well, capitalism is, like people will justify it. You can justify anything. And I think our generation of like therapy talk has taught people how to justify it a little bit more, but it's all going to catch up with people. That's the thing. The pendulum will swing the other way. And then we're going to have like, it's, it's going to be a problem soon. I'm predicting it now, sadly. But you know, you can lead by example and hopefully be that light and be that inspiration to these people. Because there's a lot of people hurting. And I feel like, you know, after the pandemic and just after just everything that's been going on it's like i feel like people really need a light and if you can be that for your friends for your coworkers, for your family for your classmates for strangers like that's going to be like that's needed right now so like you are needed right now to be that person who smiles to be that person who like even in the negative moments you're not dismissing them by choosing to find a positive thing you're just choosing to see the good instead of it's like the glass half full versus glass half half empty that's simply what choosing to find the positive is it's not that you're like being like oh there's no there's no air in this cup it's like no you're just seeing that it's half full instead of half empty but um but yeah i feel like people have started to lose um like i feel like people have started to become disconnected to themselves because they don't think that they are enough i think they don't think that you know what they do matters and what you do matters like you are making a difference people are watching you not in a way of like people are watching you people are stalking you but like in a way of like people are looking up to you. I remember looking up to older girls in my dance studio when I was in elementary school and older girls in like at high that were in high school when I was in elementary school being like oh they're so cool like I want to be like them like I would see them go to like dance class and like hang out with their friends and I would want to dress like them like people are noticing you and that's just like a very minuscule regular way but people are noticing you people people do see you and I think we need to start telling people the difference that they make in our lives like you guys thank you for holding me accountable to do this podcast thank you for giving me the space i really like doing this it's pushed me to learn how to articulate my feelings a little bit more precisely they're still a little crazy i mean after all i am a songwriter because i have a million things running through my head and sometimes the only way they seem to make sense is when they are in song format but this has helped me a lot it's also helped me to i don't know explore new topics and like go deeper to them and i don't know i've just really loved it and i loved getting to talk to you guys like seriously every single and i'm gonna tear up every single dm and just like anything about this means so much that you would choose to spend 20 30 40 minutes listening to me rant like i'm honored I'm, i really am honored um but it's interesting it's interesting like i don't like, i feel like maybe it's something i've always felt like that i could make a difference but i I want you to know that like I, I need you to just keep listening to this or keep telling yourself this over and over again until you understand it because the butterfly effect you can do one small tiny thing and it can change the world like you matter you don't need to do these grand things I feel like the reason why we our generation is so like not depressed or down but they, yes I mean depression rates are very high um but it's because we don't feel like we are making a difference and I feel like the the one thing that we all need to have is a purpose and feeling like we are a part of something that we will that we are impacting the world that we that other people are impacted and like changed by us and we often see 
through social media or whatever like only these really big things but i'm telling you the small things make a difference too the butterfly effect a butterfly flaps its wings and there's a hurricane many 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 hundreds maybe millions of miles away that's that maybe i don't know the exact saying but i think it's something like that but um do you know what i mean do you get that like i just want like you are the butter we are the butterfly wings we are the butterfly wings you you can start small like small things have an impact like this podcast sometimes there's like five of you guys who listen to this like at first like when i first started this in october i was like oh my god no like that's so bad like people don't like it i'm like who cares if it's impacting one of you guys maybe that's going to change your whole life and you're going to impact millions of people i did my part i flapped my wing i posted the episode you know like you are never wasting time and nothing is ever too small do not compare like i know it's, it's hard not to compare yourself it's hard to not compare yourself but like don't let what you see stop you from doing the small things from flapping your wings like you matter you make a difference people are watching you lead by example and you know everything will compound like everything you do and like you know when you're working towards your goals you'll eventually get there it's a snowball effect it's consistency you just have to keep going like you just have to keep going i promise you if it's something you really want and your why is stronger than anything no doubts and no fear and no anxiety and no insecurity can compete with your why like you'll be fine just keep going keep going and it's only a matter of time truly like i know it's so cliche but guess what cliches are cliches for a reason cliches are cliches for a reason and you know it's because they're right it's because they're right and yeah this was just a really long rant this is a really long rant but yeah to sum up this this season one of live laugh Lily kincaid <laughs> It's just like, you matter. You're the butterfly wing. So always be reminded of that. You don't need to do big things to make a big difference. You can flap your butterfly wing. You can start smiling at strangers. You know? Like, small things are going to make a huge difference. And I don't know. At least I hope that's what this podcast does. Because obviously my thing that I hope is making a big difference and will be making a big difference is my music. But this is just like a little extra cherry on top that I like to do. And it's pushed me. So thank you for giving me that space. This is a shorter episode. So we're going to close it off here saying our affirmation. But you guys, I will definitely let you know when season two is coming back. And I want you guys to message me. Literally, you can DM me anytime. You can respond to this. You can comment. All the things. All the things. You guys know I answer all my DMs. So yeah let's chat let's have fun new music on the way soon i'm very excited about that and i'm trusting the process you know like i said you know rejection is redirection and so taking taking the right time everything falls in place in its right timing no matter what you think no matter how bad you want something just take a deep breath god has got your back just trust him trust the process um but i'm gonna be doing a little i'm creating a little something talking about the all 30 of the episodes to sum up like a compilation of this first season first season of the podcast is something i've never done before i'm kind of scared i'm working on it right now but um i will definitely post like a little mini there'll be like a mini update episode once it's completed to share with you guys but i'm just so excited for that and i don't know i just hope these lessons help you obviously i'm growing and changing like i'm probably going to change what i said in a couple years like who knows but this is at the present moment this is what's on my heart and I just want to thank you for being a part of my life. I wish I could hug you. Like I, I, people think I'm joking about this, but you guys, like I've been, like I knew I was supposed to be a musician since I was little. I've been working at, I would say like I professionally and I like seriously started pursuing my career like actively when I was 14. Cause I was, I sacrificed going to normal high school and I was like, I'm going to move to LA because I'm going to do this. I'm going to do online school so I can be writing every day. I can be practicing piano every day. Like this is what I want to do. And I'm 23 now. So it's been nine almost nine years and like I don't like you probably you guys get it if you're watching all the way to the end you get it but it's like people always like oh if you ever come to this place I'd love to meet you and it's like no 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 no. like for the next 10 20 30 years of my life I'm gonna be touring and I'm gonna I'm I'm a professional musician I'm gonna be making albums and touring and getting to meet as many of you guys as possible because I just want to like hug you and tell you that you can do it because I wish that like somebody would have told me that and it would have just comforted me in a lot of the moments but I'm just like that's like literally all I care about I just want to like look you guys in the eye and be like you can do it because it's true it's true I didn't come nobody in my family was musical I didn't come from anything um I didn't have any connections in the industry I do feel lucky my parents paid me paid for my piano lessons when I was younger but like I didn't know anybody in music I just kind of kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it and then I got to a point where I was like 
I'm gonna put it out there in the world I've started posting on Instagram my songs I started you know playing I started meeting people like and it's scary when you don't have anybody kind of who has been in there before that you know personally it's scary because you're like oh my god I'm stepping into this unknown but like I'm just telling you whatever your purpose is and and everybody's gonna find it at a different time in life like a lot of my friends are always like well you're so wise like even my friends who are older than me you're so wise and I'm like I honestly like God is just speaking through me and I feel like he's made me this way because of the like influence and light that needs to be shown on the younger generations it's like I start to get like like teary talking about this because it really does like I don't know it's just really sad to see people not like themselves and it's not even like outwardly it's like an inward inward that's a whole separate thing like you can like yourself inward and, and be unconfident in your appearance but people are like not liking themselves on the inside and it's so sad and so yeah okay anyways thank you guys for watching this wraps up season one of live off a licking cade but as i was saying yeah message me what what do you want to see any things you want to know about or just like if you want to chat with me you can anywhere um let's say the kincaidian affirmation to close out this episode ready today is a wonderful day i am confident because i am a problem solver i always have options because i choose to be optimistic today i will learn something new laugh make a difference in someone else's life. I love y'all so much and stay tuned for a little update shortly.